guys everyone welcome back I'm Edo thank you to be here today with me and today I want to show you something very cool um, and it's uh, uh, completely new um, and we are talking about the super new Quen image edit 2509 something um, it's uh, something 23 of September yesterday so I I had to to try it and I want to show you the, the potential of this new multimodal uh, model uh, completely free completely open source and it's amazing in my opinion it's amazing it li it's like nano banana but open source and you can do whatever you want uh, it's amazing in my opinion so let's uh, let's do it let's see what we got this is the workflow okay in your config you have to update sorry not all but just config remember you need to work with this um, config this new 3951 so the the newest one okay um because uh, it it comes with the, the prompt and um, possibility to download the new model so once you in, um, once you had um, uh, upload um, update everything you will be a pop-up where you can click and download the new model this Quen image edit 25 and you have to put in your uh, config model and diffusion model right there it's the same in terms of uh, weight with the last one fb8 this is quite quite different in terms of um, um, in terms of everything okay um, support one two three input images okay person person product person scene this could be very interesting to to work with uh, they they said that uh, it enhanced the consistency okay uh, preservation of facial identity uh, advanced text text editing support modifying text content font color and materials and native and native support with uh, control net that map edge key point whatever today we are going to see something to work with okay I think it's very very interesting so this is the workflow you can download from here very simple click and we you download a file like this one image quen image edit 2509.json okay and open with your config and uh, today we are going to work with this image I realized mm, some days ago this image is realized with my XDL um, workflow, the ultimate workflow. Um, I leave all in the description. It's a powerful workflow to create 4K to 6K image with uh, incredible details, with ad adherence with the prompt, just for uh, stable diffusion Excel, because you work with a lot of nodes. So today we're going to see something about this uh, this uh, workflow first of all we upload uh, our image I remember um, how it work it had to be scaled to 1k so you can put whatever you want I'm working with 4k but you can work with whatever and uh, just 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 remove the helmet and the and the sword okay so right there just a simple prompt okay just uh, something like this very very simple very easy uh, I'm working with a 4060 Ti with 16 giga um, it 
it's quite heavy but I think it's uh, useful to wait uh, some second to, to have what you need okay um, just a remind oh whoa it's working but it's heavier yeah okay I hope to be able to record and um, work with uh, when uh, remember we are using this this part here the FBA FBA uh, model with a lower um, pre precision model and the four step LoRa just to have the power of uh, LCM uh, key sampler so I have to wait okay guys okay um, just just a little um, tip uh, as you can see that the, the result is perfect okay we removed uh, the helmet and we removed the sword but uh, this is the true um, first iteration I, I skipped as you can see there is the, the sword and there is no helmet but there is the sword why because in the prompt I I, uh, I wrote remove the helmet and uh, the sword and the multimodal mm, processor uh, didn't understand to um, reuse this verb so if you want to remove the helmet and the, sir, the sword you have to write it remove the helmet and remove the sword and this is the result quite impressive in my opinion okay um, I want to push this forward a remove um, we can do something tricky uh, uh, remove the upper part of the armor okay we are starting from here but we can of course start from the generation we just did so I take this part I have to find in my folder right there okay so I remove the for first part of the armor in this um, in this um, model we can remove part of the, um, the image this is interesting in many ways uh, mm, and we can of course put something uh, on our um, models okay here we are we remove the part um, here just just the tips for you this is the first iteration with the prompt you saw but in the second iteration I just uh, add some details remove the armor part on the shoulders to reveal skin this is wrong but okay but you understand what I mean so this is our uh, armor and this is our heroine without armor and with the skin of her shoulders so this is quite impressive in my opinion it's quite good and it takes uh, 130 seconds no not so fast but okay two minutes um, but for, for, for me it's fine it's good so now we can do much more bypass so uh, you can uh, uh, you have to right click and bypass there is also shortcut but I don't remember the shortcut okay maybe control E no uh, no uh, control B yeah control B to bypass of course uh, now I want to 
me push everything mm, forward. I want to add um, a background and I want to add a product. So, first of all, this is the background, uh, a super easy image of a glacier. Remember the dimension, at least 1K. Otherwise, the program doesn't recognize the image. And this is one of uh, uh, a soda I realized with my, my name, with the Krika. Okay, uh, this is a 4K image. Quite good, in my opinion. Uh, and now I want to create an image. I just leave here while it's render. I um, write a prompt. Um, this is the right prompt. So put the woman image one, image one, image one, right there. Uh, in a new glacier, new glacier background of image two, drinking the soda of image three. So be precise, put the girl in a new background image 2, drinking a soda of the image 3. And now we see the result. Now, as you can see, we have all the elements I, uh, I mm, uh, gave to the model as input. Our pro protagonist, our character, the glacier, and our soda can. Okay, this is the result. Look look at the right here it's perfect we lose some details of course remember we are merging everything but it's 1k 1k enough that's quite good you can upload um, upscale with the top acts or everything you, you have and it's quite good and now I want to show you something different this is the new, mm, the new. Um, it's the same image. I put a control net. It's just an image of uh, an open pose control net I made. Me that uh, wave my hand, and I take a sofa. Okay. Um, and this is the prompt. Put the woman image uno in a new position of image two, seated on on a sofa of image three of image 3, sorry, image 1, image 2, image 3. Okay, so I said to the program, put the woman in a new position of image 2 on the sofa on image 3. So I tell to the program everything uh, it's important to understand. And the result is right here, I hope. Okay. Quite impressive. I think it's quite impressive. Okay, I saved this. M maybe it's useful for a thumbnail or something. Okay. Um, this is quite impressive, in my opinion. Uh, the control net is perfect. The coherence is incredible. Look at this part, it's the same, it's the same. Okay, we have something issues here, but it's, it's good. Look at this part and this part. Well, and the sofa as well. We have also this horrible mm, frame here. Remember those days when we use stable diffusion and a bunch of control net to create the pose and everything. Yes, I remember those days. Maybe, maybe everything has changed so fast. Okay, guys, I think it's quite impressive. It's very powerful. It's free. It's open source. So you have to try it. For today, it's all. Thank you to be. Uh, to be here today thank you to to your uh, for your comments for your feedback 
I'm trying to do my best to deliver something cool and useful, not cool, useful, useful for, for your work. It's my work. I work with this kind of stuff every day. So I hope this kind of video could help you in your, uh, in your AI journey. And I hope to see you again uh, next time. From Edo, it's all. From Italy, it's all. And I want to thank you. And per oggi è tutto. Quindi, ciao ciao ciao.